This is Yarbo. What is Yarbo? Well, you may be familiar with those Roomba-style mower robots. Yarbo is the world's first modular lawn robot, meaning this thing doesn't just mow. It edges, it trims, it leaf blows, it blows snow, and it can tow up to 3,500 pounds while also doing security around your property. It can do all of these things because of its design. It is designed around this Yarbo core unit. Right now it has the Smart Assist module, which is basically just a set of cameras. If you wanna do a follow mode, have this thing tow something, have it follow you around the yard, or if you wanted to do security, kind of patrol your yard, this is how you would have it set up. But you get these nice big tracks, lots of traction, lots of power. This thing has a 20 pound battery in here, which is extremely easy to get to. Right here, that's your battery. You can unplug it. If you ever get a bad battery in this unit, you could take out the battery without having to solder anything, do anything like that. Very easy, very nice design. And just put your cover right back on, good to go. But let's get the mower hooked back on here because that's really the main thing we've been using with the yard. Hooking up the mower is actually really, really easy. The mower does weigh a little bit, it's about 20 pounds. So you will wanna have a little bit of strength, but you basically line it up, get it as close as you can. And then you're gonna have a cable that comes in here, locks on in automatically. And then you have a set of four pins. You wanna do the bottom ones first, and then we'll slam this forward. And what, just like that, your mower's hooked up. Now, let's talk about the mower deck. This mower deck is rated to cut 20 inches wide. And how it does that is it has two 10 inch spinning discs. Each disc has five razor blades attached to it. Those spin and it cuts your grass. So it is not a conventional mower, but it is actually pretty standard when you look at the robotic mowers. Most robotic mowers, on the other hand, will only have one disc that spins with the razor blades. This having two discs, meaning you're gonna get a little bit of a wider path of mowing, meaning less trips, less time. This will mow more grass quickly. The whole mower deck articulates, I think it's like 15 degrees or so, but I mean, really uneven surfaces. This lawn is not even really remotely, so it has been able to articulate, go over bumps, do all of that. So in front of these mower blades, you're gonna have your two big wheels that are 360 turn, so it allows it to turn freely along with the tracks. Obviously, you can do zero point turns with this mower and it'll do that automatically via the GPS, but that way it's not scalping, not hurting your lawn in any way. And then in front of those wheels, you have an all steel skirt underneath of it can protect your mower blades. So we've actually ran it over mole hills. I wouldn't recommend doing that, but that steel skirt kind of pushes the mole hills down and the contact on the blades was pretty minimal when we did that. So kind of a nice feature. It's nice that it's steel. It's nice that it's not plastic. But then that brings me to my favorite point on this mower deck. And that is the fact that it has rubber flaps on the bottom, which allows it to stripe like you can see. So you do get a really high quality finish when you're using this mower. A lot of robotic mowers don't have any ability to stripe just due to the way that they are. This mower deck will stripe and really make it look really, really nice. And you're getting perfect lines due to the GPS system. The mower blades on this are very easy to change. You, all you have to do is get a Phillips or a flathead, whatever you want, take this mower module off, flip it over, five minutes, you got all the blades off, put them right back on, pretty inexpensive to do. You probably wanna do that about once a month or so. I mean, you're gonna notice with the quality of cut, this mower will mow almost up to two acres a day. And if you wanna stretch it out and only mow it twice a week, you can get pretty close to eight acres. It is rated to mow 120 minutes per charge. And I have found that to be extremely conservative. I have had this thing run and mow our entire backyard, which is about a three, three and a half hour cut. It's about one quarter acre. It does that and it's at like 40% when it's done. So the estimates that Yarbo is, are giving, I find are very conservative. This thing seems to be more capable than what they are stating. And the charging. So this thing will automatically charge when it's down to 20%. It'll go to its docking station and charge. The cool thing about its docking station, it is a wireless charger. So you have no contact points. This thing rolls right up. The reason they do this is because this thing is also a snowblower. So in the winter, you don't wanna risk having contact points. 
getting disturbed or getting corroded or anything like that. So wireless charging is the way they went on this. And surprisingly, the wireless charge is very fast. This thing will charge from 20 to 80% in about 90 minutes. And that is also an estimate that I have found to be very conservative. I thought when I hopped this thing on a wireless charger, it was gonna take all day. Just like when you have a wireless charger on your phone, it's not as fast as when you plug it in. Well, this thing charges very fast, even with a wireless charger. Now let's cover what's kind of covered in the box. I don't have all this stuff here, but you do get a plug-in charger, which really you're probably never gonna use except for the first time you set it up. You also do get a remote control, which is kind of handy, but honestly, I've never used because the app is so good. And you also get your base station, which is an RTK base station. And everything is extremely well made. The wireless charger, the base station, everything is made out of very nice components, nice materials. I would say the one downside about this setup is that your base station has to be hardwired into ethernet in order to work. You will have to, if your router's in your living room, kind of like it is for us, I had to kind of work around that and I got one of those little Wi-Fi range boosters that give you an ethernet plug, put that in the garage. We kind of have a temporary setup here. We'll probably make it more permanent here soon. You can work around it, but you will have to have ethernet plugged in to your station. So something to plan around, something that takes setup, but then once you're done, you don't have to worry about it. And in my experience setting it up, we had it plugged in. As soon as I plugged in the base station, the lights were flashing. I thought it might not turn solid green, which means it's ready. And in about five minutes, I looked away, it was solid green. I didn't have to do anything more. Hopped on the app and I was ready to map outer areas. But with that being said, let's talk about the app. So this is the Yarbo app. And here you'll see this is our Yarbo. We just click it and it's gonna take us in here. You can see if you have Bluetooth, if you have GPS, the battery percentage, we're only at 56% because this thing just got done mowing, cleaned it up, and now we're doing a video. The first thing you'll probably use is the controller here. So in order to do the controller, you're gonna slide it to unlock, and then you have the option to turn on your lights, to send it to recharge. And the nice thing about it is you have a clear error button. I have used other robotic mowers in the past where if you do have an error, you have to go all the way to the unit, manually reset it, and then, but this, you can just go in the app, clear the error, and it'll go. You don't have to go out to the unit to do that. Uh, you'll see you have your mow height settings and your travel speed settings. So with this little toggle, I can drive it around, spin it around, do its little thing, and uh, yeah. You can drive it with this. That's why I said you don't really need the controller because it's actually pretty nice and you can do it with one thumb. Very easy to drive it around, spin it around, get wherever you need to. You don't have to go grab the controller. The controller's cool, but I would just use the app. But if you go back to the main screen, you can enter your yard, and this will show you our yard that we have mapped out. We have the backyard and the front yard kind of separately mapped. In order to map an area, all you do is go into map an area and you will control your Yarbo and drive it around the perimeter. Once you do your full perimeter, your area is mapped. Then you have to create a transport path, which is also very easy. It walks you through the entire setup. It is very intuitive and you just drive basically from your work area to your docking station. It knows its transport path. It'll take that path every time. And the nice bonus about this is you don't have to do buried line. This is all GPS based off of your home station, so you, no buried lines. And then the other thing, I have used other robotic mowers in order to map an area. You have to click a button every time you make a little turn to map a little point to make your perimeter. It gets really frustrating and really t tedious if you're mapping out multiple areas, big areas. This, you don't have to do that. It drives around, it memorizes everything, and it knows where to go. So once you have your areas mapped, this is where the Yarbo app gets really kind of fun because you can enter it, click your area, and we'll just go to the backyard for instance here, and we'll go to settings. And here we have so many settings. So you have our mo height, which we have set to two inches right now. I think you can go up to four or all the way down to 1.2. That just the mower deck does that automatically. Once you set it, you can do that. You also have the target height. So if you set a target height, it'll slowly chop and get you down to the height that you want. Um, and then the coolest thing, then the thing that I'm looking forward to playing with is the patterns. So right now we have it in checkerboard pattern. So you can see we've got stripes. It goes the other way, it goes this way. It does it all by itself. You don't have to program it, but you can do spirals and you can do diamonds. I'm curious to see what a spiral and a diamond looks like, but we'll find out eventually. So then you can go into advanced settings. So this is actually pretty cool. It will either do a U-turn or a zero turn. We actually have it on zero turn, uh, just mainly because we had it in the three point turn and it was kind of painful to watch it do a three point turn every time. We thought zero turn might kind of tear up the grass. 
it hasn't done that. Maybe if it gets really wet, you probably don't want it in zero turn, but we do have it in zero turn. And then you have your overlap. You can set it to a higher overlap if you feel like it's kind of missing spots. Right now we have it set to zero. We haven't had too many issues. Then you also have like modular clearance. You have route angle, so I, you can change the angle in which you want it to do. I set it to 90. I don't, I don't really know what I'm doing, but it seemed to make good stripes. And then you have your route order, so you can have it do its perimeter lap first, or you can have it doing its stripes first. I have it set to do its zigzag first. And then you also have the mow along no-go zone. So right, that no-go zone, like that fire pit I showed you, you can have it mow along that, so it'll go up to it and make a nice circle around it if you want it to. And then you can set something like your perimeter mowing laps, your boundary setback, your exterior area expand, you can make it bigger. And then we hit the preview button and it'll kind of show you on the app here. Now you can see all of the paths it's gonna make. It just did this way, so now it'll do this way next time. You can see the different little extra lines and that's just showing you how it's gonna get from certain corners, right? Because it can't do everything consistently. So you can also do obstacle avoidance mode. This thing, if you stand in front of it, it will not hit you. It will not mow into you. It has all the sensors. It'll do all that. But you can also set kind of your allowance for that sort of thing. Because sometimes you have really tall grass and this thing may see the tall grass and not mow over it, right? A tall weed sticking up, anything like that. So it'll kind of do a dance around it. So you have all these different settings. If you know you have that, you can do gentle contact. So then it will kind of slowly bump into those things. You have all these different modes. It's a very well-made app. And obviously you have the ability to schedule everything. I have one schedule that I kind of set up in here. I haven't really fully set up the schedules yet, but you could set it to do the backyard, front yard, wherever you want it to do. You wanted to do it Monday at 3 p.m. You wanted to do it at 6 a.m. on Fridays. You wanted to do it every day. You can set up the schedule that way. But let's talk about how you would just send it out. So all you would have to do is hit start. Um, you would hit whatever you want. We got backyard and we got front yard here. We just did the backyard, so maybe we'll send it to do the front yard. And you also have a start progress ratio. So here you can set it to start 50% of the way through or whatever. You can also hit the preview button and then that will take you into showing exactly what it's gonna do, show its perimeter lap, show its path. You can see the transport path, how it's gonna get there. But let's hit start now. And we wait for it to think. It realizes what's going on now. And we'll see what it does. So front yard is actually this way, but what it's gonna do, it's gonna go all the way back to the base station over here, get to where it knows where to start, and then it'll come right back around and start mowing the front yard. We have been very pleased with the Yarbo. This thing has exceeded our expectations. We've had it on our yard for a little over a month now, mowing the grass, doing its thing, and it hasn't been that much work. We just wash it occasionally. It's been really nice. So if you want more info on the Yarbo, go to yarbo.com. They have all of their products, all of their attachments listed, priced. You can see all of that. And if you're very interested and you live by us, you can stop by Sculpton's Equipment. We will be selling the Yarbo. We look forward to the future of this product. We think it is a home run. And uh, yeah, if you want to see it, swing by Sculpton's Equipment. Thanks for watching Tractor Therapy with our mini little new tractor here. Make sure to like and subscribe.